And this is what it looks like all mounted on the truck. Actually looks like something now. And that's the doorway. I think I'm gonna need a set of steps to get in and out. What do y'all think? These are the rear mounts that my dad made for the habitation box. And then we cut these pieces of rubber to make isolators. Got them on the left and the right side. And then for the front, we just got an extra three inch piece of tubing and put the isolators on it. And it just mounts directly to the frame as well. test that I need to do right now before I go any further. I need to check to see when I kind of twist the frame of the truck in an odd way. I want to make sure that there's enough gap between the cab and the habitation box so that it doesn't hit anywhere. And this is gonna, this test is gonna be more extreme than anything I plan on putting this truck through. I'm not gonna be rock crawling on it, in it or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this test set up. What I've done is I'm gonna put the right front wheel up on a ramp. Come over here. And I'm gonna put the left rear wheel up on a ramp. And that should twist it good enough so I can see what my clearances are going to be with the with the frame flexed. Well, it appears I have plenty of suspension travel because as you can see that axle is twisted up pretty good there but the camper is still setting level didn't twist the frame at all but even with that wheel all the way up like that I still have plenty of clearance between the bottom of the box and the wheel yeah And plenty of clearance in there and all the way over I didn't really twist my frame like I wanted to though I twisted it the other way 
because I have both dual wheels. I have both wheels on this side. So I wanted to see how high up this outside rear wheel would go. And it's given, it's plenty of clearance. I got three fingers of clearance there. So that's plenty of clearance. I don't ever plan on having those wheels twisted that, that hard. So, and as you can see, the frame is still sitting level. I have a lot of articulation in the back of this truck. Being that it's independent front suspension, I don't have so much articulation in the front. You can see the front's kind of odd angled. The sun's going down. Got a lot accomplished today. I've got the floors, the wood for the floors. And I got the window out, as you can see. The window's not going back in. There's going to be some modifications being made back here. That will be in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. I'm a new channel and I'm got a lot of good things going on here. So just click that subscribe button. If you know anybody that's interested in truck campers or expedition vehicles, overlanding, any sort of thing like that, go ahead and share it. Feel free to share my video with them. Share it far and wide. Thanks for watching and go ahead and give me a little thumbs up. Be very much appreciated.